Welcome back. It's time now to learn the form 64 movements. And they're all written in your blue book or if you have a copy of the book. So on page 11 is where the starting of these movements from 1 to 64. And the other pages will give you the warm up that we did, the acupressure points we did. And at the back of the book, we'll talk about the meditation. We did a standing meditation, but often we'll do a sitting meditation, 10 to up to 40 minutes of restoring the chi. So just know that this book will be a lifesaver to help you learn what the movements are. So we're going to begin the movements, and my colleague Debbie, who is here, and dear friend, she will say the name of the movements, and I will explain how we do them. And so get comfortable in your body, first of all, hug, kiss, smile, everything we worked on before. Number one, starting form. So as you hug, kiss, smile, feel chi flowing through every part of your body, the fingers, the toes, connected to the earth, vital chi flowing within you. You are ready to begin the form. Number two, stretch wings. As we stretch wings, your lap on palms come to one tail to elongate the spine. Keep the hands down the outside of the feet. And we slowly come upright, holding a great big ball of energy between the palms. And open it up to the heavens, bringing the hips forward. Hug the inner thighs as you lift the heels a quarter of an inch. Number three, close wings. Lower the heels as we concentrate the chi into the lower dantian. Thumbs two inches apart, index finger one inch apart. And feel that good chi with the lavan palms at the lower dantian. Number four, push and set your wings. Release the fingers as chi rises from the earth and look between the palms and send loving energy. Fingers are up. They go out. Activate the core as we stretch, stretch the wings in front and spread them to the side creating a claw with the fingers at the kidneys. Number five, shake up our arms. We lower the heels and we stack the energy out of the body. Six, push and set wings. Now look at the hands again, send loving energy. Fingers are up and out, activate the core, send the chi in front of you. Then spread that loving energy around you as you come upright, concentrating the chi back into the kidneys. Hegu touch a shen shu, lift the heels. Seven, shake up our arms. Again, release toxins out of the body. Eight, lift. As we lift the hands, we bring the hands to Trepan and Chi Hu, and then we gather the Chi under the chin and give good Chi to the third eye in Tang, to the crown of Bai Hui. Nine, close hands. We interlace fingers, giving more blood Chi into your brain. Turning the palms over, shoulders are down, we will elongate the arms, eyes stretch up. Ten, bend. Now I'm going to barely bend, and Debbie will bend more. So as I give chi to the earth, I'm going to draw chi up, bring it to the outside of the left heel, press down. Draw chi up the outside of the right heel, press down. Slide in the middle. Eleven, push chi. As I push the chi, I'm creating a beautiful rainbow or umbrella. Soften the knees, I'm holding this chi. As I pivot on the ball, the left foot, right hand under left elbow. Eleven, turn hands. As I turn hands, I'm going to bring hands from the elbow past the fingertips, the other hand under the elbow, rock back. Restore chi. As I look between the claw, the left hand, I bring it to trepan above the collar. The right hand gives chi to the left foot, the right foot, out to the side, drop the shoulder, look at the palm, and I give chi either to the foot or to the left knee. Push four foot three times. Beginners flap the wings three times and advance can turn counterclockwise with both elbows three times. Push the chi. As I put the foot down, the other hand's going to push away negative energy, pivot on the ball of the foot so it's parallel, only one foot far. Come back center as I scoop the chi, create the claw to right trip in. Scoop up, restore the chi. Then I'm going to, the left hand is chi to the right foot, the left foot. As I'm coming up, drop the shoulder, look at the palm, and the palm's going to face the right toe or the knee and bring it to that area. Sixteen, push forefoot. Three times either flap the wings or go 
clockwise three times. 17, push chi. As the foot comes parallel, I release stagnant energy one foot far, come back center. 18, scoop up the chi. As I'm scooping the chi up, the right hand goes down to the lower dantian, and I give chi to the heart three times. Once, turn hands. Twice, three times. Wave hands like clouds. The right hand and foot come forward, no weight on that right foot, looking forward. All the way behind me, I look forward, palm up, head would touch a shen shu. Pivot the heel, transfer the weight. Left hand and foot go forward, waist high, looking at the palm. Look all the way behind. Look forward, palm up. Hegu to shenshu, pivot the heel, transfer the weight. Right hand and foot, waist high. Behind. Look forward, palm up. Last time. Left foot, open to the side. Rinse waist. I Come up on the ball of the foot, turning from the waist. My right hand goes to the third eye, left hand goes to the tail, looking towards the right heel. Hold up. Turn the left palm forward. I come on the right foot up to the third eye, right hand at the waist. And I push down as they come down in front of the center channel. I get taller and taller. Left hand comes to one tia. Stretch single wing. Right foot, right hand come forward. Look at the palm, look all the way behind. Then forward palm up, head to shen chi. As I step up, the left elbow lifts. Look at the palm. Look at the left palm as the right hand will wrap from the side to the belly, to the palm, to the shoulder, to right the ear, to ear. Wrapping the head to the ear, I come to the other ear and I push out any toxic negative energy out of the head, out of the body. Push down. As I push down, the left palm will come up facing Shrepan and Shihu. The right palm will rotate forward. Hold up. As I hold the Chi back up, giving Chi to Shrepan and Shihu, left Lao Gun faces Wan Tiao. Hegu faces Wan Tiao. Lao Gun faces Wan Tiao. Scoop up the Chi. Gathering the Chi in the right hand, I bring up to the third eye. As I turn the head, look at the moon. As I reach the full moon, left hand comes to the ear, the right knee is bent, and I'm going to scoop all this healing energy from the full moon, the reflection of the moon, to the left inner ankle, left hand at the third eye. Turn the head to the left, right hand at the third eye. Turn around. As I come on the heel, toe to toe, left hand at the belly, I pivot on the right heel, facing all the way to the back. Step up and head. look at the palm. As I step up, Left toe touches, that baby finger touches the waist, left hand to the third eye, and right hand opens to the temple. Look at the moon. As I reach to the full moon, left hand comes to the ear. Bend that right knee as I scoop the chi down to the left inner ankle, left hand at the third eye, and I catch the reflection under the armpit. Push chi three times. As I'm on the ball of the left foot, the hands at the left knee, as I push down and hang it back up. So I'm not bending the back, I'm actually squatting with my knees, pushing this toxic energy out of the digestive system. Turn around and push chi. As I pivot 90 degrees and step back, middle finger up, the knee pushing down three times again, releasing stagnant energy from the digestive system. Fly up. As I fly forward and up to the heaven, I spread the wings and I look forward at the duck pond that will fly in at in the summertime. Fly over water. As hands go forward, take a step with the left foot to left back diagonal, give chi to the lower down tian, and fly to the left side, hand under the armpit. And bring chi to the lower down tian, and fly to the right side. Elbow is bent, palm open, thumb down. Drape water. As I step forward with the left foot, I create a beak. Come to the mouth, to dao bao, wan tiao, both knees, left leg, and fly up. Mouth, dao bao, wan tiao, both knees, left leg, and fly up. One more time. Step up, look at the sky. As I look at the sky, the bright sky of healing energy. I give chi to the lower dantian. 
as I press and massage the liver, cleansing the body, pressing and releasing stagnant energy out. Grasp chi. I come up over the breast, looking at the hand, reaching forward, grasping the chi out a little peak hole, and I bring it down to the waist, and then I suck the chi up into chi hu. Left hand, look at the hand, grasp the chi, bring it to the waist and up 10 times. Good for the digestive system. Grasp chi, palm up. Right baby finger touches the collar over the breast, palm up, grasp the chi, the baby finger now touches the chi. I'm gathering the chi, so I feel the knuckle with my finger touching the collarbone as I'm gathering that healing chi into the digestive system. Lengthen the fingers as you come down. You look at the hand when it's in front of you. Hold the ball. Lift up like a flower in bloom. All the way to the top and it expands and blooms all the way down towards the baby toes. And then we gather chi up. Bring it to the left side and lift the ball up as high as the dantian, right hand on top. Massage the ball. So as I'm feeling the chi between the palms, it's as if I'm massaging great big grapefruits. So the elbows are working, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. It's 10 massages. Bending the left knee as I go to the right after 10. Turn and massage the ball. Feel the chi between the palms. And now eight times we're going to massage going back in this beautiful arcway. Two more times back to center to hold the chi. So gather the chi internally that we have cultivated and feel that vibrant energy inside. Holding the chi ball, bring it down and lift it up for standing breathing meditation. As relaxed as you can be, aligned as you can be. Feel between the palms and the third eye a triangle of vibrant energy. In the form, we will do this about 15 seconds. If you do a wonderful retreat with Grand Master, we'll hold this for about 15 minutes and you want to be as relaxed as you can be. Penetrate chi. Bring the chi up to the hair chi, hide the hair level. Bring it down to the third eye the heart center, the lower dantian, and hold it at the lower dantian. Raise arms. As we raise arms in front of us, we're going to again gather chi into the beak as you lift the heels and then push out like a triangle. Lift up, out, concentrate the chi in the claw, bring it back, and press and massage. Put wings on back. And you feel the back, the kidneys, getting a wonderful massage three times. Fly up seven times. As we go forward, as I sink into the right foot, the left hand comes out, turns 30 degrees, scoop the chi in front, pivot the foot, and take a step. Right toe, rise up the center, turn 30 degrees, look into the palm, gather the chi in. Now if we had more space, we would be walking further, but right now we're sort of moonwalking. Gathering, healing chi into the core of your being. Turn around and fly up. So look at the palms, giving chi to lower down chin as you pivot on the heel toe. Look up at the heavens and open to the side. Fly over water seven, seven times. 
Step four, the right knee is bent. It gives you to both knees and fly to the left upper side. Pivot the heel, transfer the weight, take a step. Look at the upper wing, the lower wing, wing. one knee, the other knee, and fly up. Make sure the shoulder is down with the elbow is bent and modify as you need to, but try to create wings. And feel the chi flying. Turn around and fly up. As I gather you the lower dante and hovering, very gently, it's like butterflies fluttering. Fly up, out, in front. As I take a step 90 degrees, holding the beak, I bend the right knee and I dive over the left straight leg. Search food, and I gather food from the water up seven times. Left hand always on top, and then give chi to the knees as you gather chi back up. create a nest to place my valuable eggs and I'm going to come forward, come to the left, lift the chi up, push it down, hold it to lower down tian and come forward. Pivot the foot and she rises to the middle down tian, look down to the lower down tian. Look forward as you hold the chi at the lower down tian, come to the right, take a step, two times to the right side. Changing directions forward to the left. Forward. As I step forward on the left foot, turn around and swim. Giving she to Rugen beneath the nipple, middle finger is at the navel, elbows open. As we sink down to restore she and sleep, lift the heels with a long spine, parallel back to the floor, bite my faces forward. With a minimum of six seconds or six hours of sleep, And we'll lower the heels, and by the way, lifts you up. Close form. As hands go down, again, we'll gather this healing energy of the universe to the hair chi height. And slowly penetrate the chi from the upper dantian to relax the mind. Middle dantian to strengthen the heart. Lower dantian to nourish the body. And here, the set is finished. 